look back on season eight of Winchester Deadly Passion, I had a truly unbelievable season. Not only did I get some incredible animals along the way, we got to see some unbelievable places and spend time with some of the best people you could have met. So I can't think of a better way to start off the best up than heading to New Zealand for an incredible tar hunt where we started from the bottom every single day, no choppers. It was truly an incredible hunt with some amazing views. And I was pretty far along pregnant with Jack at the time, so it made it extra special. All right, we'll have a look at it. So, so what we were looking for in a bull tar was, was one age, and then there's a couple of identifying things about the bull we wanted. So on the front of the horn, when the, when the age rings are all stacked up in the base, you know it's an old bull. And then, then the other thing you're looking for is the way that horn hooks in. So through a spotting scope, you can really see the maturity and the quality of the bull before you decide to stalk it or chase it or whatever. Well, we've been spending most of our time this morning looking at these big sides of these bases. Some of them are, I mean, we've seen a lot. They're just way beyond what you could ever reach. Because there's a creek in the back here, and we're just going to walk up that. Patty said there's a lot of animals that'll come down in that area, a lot more stockable. Should be really good, but it's going to be right back in there. These tar live in some rough conditions. They're beautiful out here, but we're going to see if we can't find one in the creek and go after it that way. Now, to me, it was a lot nicer not going on your hands and knees straight up and down like we did the first day, but you're doing a lot of walking when you're doing a gradual incline. So we knew that we're gonna get after it, we're gonna just take our time, and when you turn around and you see back to the sea and you see all that country and everywhere you've climbed, it truly is breathtaking. There literally is no prettier place that I've ever been, in my opinion, than where we were hunting after these tar. You might have to. We spotted an absolute monster tar looking over the edge. And Patty, you could just see it in his face. This is a yeah, giant. He's got a good height, yeah, good span. Yeah, I can shoot him. But... OK, there he's going right yep, there. He's coming down. He's just going off that yep. back side. He's moving down. I don't see him anymore. I'm going to get ready in case he pops back out. The trouble is, can we get to him? And so we're literally scanning the area, trying to decide if it's even physically capable to get to him once we make the shot. Do you guys see him? He's standing at Skyline. Well, what do you think? Is that a better spot? It's a much better spot. He's still going to be tough to recover, but he's too good a bull just to leave. Patty said, we can get to him, take the shot. Right, you take them when you're ready. Yeah. I just had a sense of relief. Like it's, I can't believe it. This tar has stayed there while we're determining all this. If you hit him high on that shoulder and he'll come down. So take him when you're ready. And he said, you need to make a good shot. Well, thank you so much. We are out here in the South Island of New Zealand. It has been such an incredible adventure. It's amazing. We're here with Wilderness Quest New Zealand, and this is the kind of animals that you get a chance at. It's not every day you get something like this, but when you can get in this kind of country and make it happen, it truly is a dream come true. Good job. <laughs> and it was an incredible experience for me, for Ben, for Zion. We just had such a great place to hunt, so many memories, and the sights, they truly are breathtaking. I'm not sure there's any more beautiful place than New Zealand in the world, especially the South Island. See how big he goes. And when we put a tape on that tar, well, it ended up being the biggest tar of the entire year. 14-1, you've got to wow. be kidding me. <laughs> that, that is, is amazing. Shot. And then at the wow. end of the trip, I said, hey, Zion, by the way, yeah, I'm seven months pregnant. And um, well, <laughs> he, he was a little surprised, but um, he was proud. And you know what? I'm so happy everything worked out. Ben and I got to experience this together. And uh, someday, Jax can look back and think, wow, I got to go on a tar hunt at a very young age. <laughs>
Closed captioning provided by DSG Outerwear. Doing something great for women in the outdoors by outfitting with the ultimate in fit, function, warmth, and comfort in women's hunting gear. Designed specifically for women by women. Outfitting every season from sizes extra small to 5XL. Visit DSGOuterwear.com to locate a retailer near you. This segment was brought to you by Sportsman's Alliance. Our heritage, our fight. Protecting hunting from coast to coast. Did you know that not a single North American animal has gone extinct due to regulated sport hunting? In fact, because of license fees, taxes, and non-monies generated by hunters, there's better habitat and more animals than ever. In 1900, there were approximately 500,000 white-tailed deer. Today, there are more than 32 million. 50 years ago, only 12,000 antelope remained. Today, there are more than 1 million. Just another fun fact showing how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. So as we go through the highlights of season eight, one of the hunts that topped my list I was heading to Nebraska to the Sandhills for something totally different. I had gotten an unheard of rifle antelope tag on the raffle at the Big Game Association and I was so excited to go out and hunt art. The only big difference, well this time we'd be hunting antelope in the snow. I figured maybe with the snow they went to the food source so give it a shot. Yep. So with the snow and it being really cold and kind of not kind of making it a hard time seeing things. We decided to check out a pivot and kind of where they winter and see if we'd have any luck there. And there was probably a good 75 to 100 antelope. There was a lot. And they were out in a field eating alfalfa and that's where we found them all together, all in one place. And we had a target rich environment. got a big group of antelope. They're probably about 80 yards up. There's more past that. But the good news is we've got a whole row of bales right here. I think we can kind of get through this fence, get up on them. The hard part is the biggest bucks are at the far end. There's some closer ones, so what we're gonna have to do is try not to get busted by those close ones. We've got a good wind right now. It should be pretty quiet in the snows. We'd get set up and we'd wait and wait and wait. And we were just trying not to make too bold of moves because the last thing we wanted to do is push this entire herd out of there when we finally figured out where they wanted to be. In the back of my mind, we were probably killing Scott. He's up on the hill watching thinking, what are you guys doing? Nice walking right here, see those two? Yeah. When you're watching through a spotting scope, everything looks different. And I'm uh, quite a ways off and I'm watching you know, they're set up and, and the camera looks like it's set up and, you know, I'm like, all right, this is probably be a good time to shoot. I thought, oh, they've spooked, it's over. I'm sure it looked like we had a shot, but I wanted to be very sure that we we're all on the same antelope. They spooked a little ways away and we just continued going after them. Her just came, we had a doe come close. She kind of spooked. They're all running, but they don't like they're running too far. Do you want to try to catch up? What do you want to do? Yeah, let's try and get around. Come to this next ridge line. Okay. And I'm uh, quite a ways off and I'm watching, seeing the antelope. And when you're watching through a spotting scope, everything looks different. Finally, I had a couple different antelope and I had a good shot. And so my cameraman and I and Travis, we were all talking through it, making sure we were all on the same antelope. There's just a lot of different shooters walking around. So we had to communicate which one we were gonna shoot. And just really decide and stay on one for the length of it. This is the far back two bucks, right? Yep, correct. Okay, you move over to my other side. Okay. Can you see those? Yes, he's broadside. Okay, I'm gonna take him. Go ahead. <laughs> I 
He's down. Oh, oh my gosh. I am freezing. Nice wow, shot. that was teamwork out here. We got on a group, a huge group of antelope. My feet are so cold, I cannot feel them whatsoever. I have never, I don't think I've ever seen someone out kill an antelope in the snow. No, I haven't. Oh, that's a nice buck and I am so happy yep. that we got it done. Nice job, it's cold out oh. here now. And this was really a cool thing. I mean, how often do you see someone out hunting antelope in the snow? Almost never. And it was a really, really neat experience. We got a beautiful buck. Jeez. What an awesome buck. Oh, this is cool. Boy, this is not every day that you are out spotting stalking antelope in the snow. We have really put in our time. We had this huge group and uh, we made it happen on this one. It's the last day, my very first with the rifle, very first ever in the snow as well. So never in a million years and I think we'd be looking over an antelope in the snow packed field, but we are. Um, I've been hunting them when it's 100 and now it's about 20. So <laughs> beautiful animal. Well, we definitely put in our time. Thank you very much. <laughs> This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Hard-Hitting Easton Arrows, Golden Triangle Whitetail, Winchester, the American Legend, National Deer Alliance, HHA Sports, the leader in single pin technology. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology Plus. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Convergent Hunting Solutions, where experience, innovation, and passion meet. Spy Point Trail Cameras. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV, UTV accessories. Going to Alaska and predator calling black bear, well, as far as I'm concerned, that is the ultimate hunt. It is so much fun. And honestly, it's something I've had incredible luck in in the past. In fact, I can't even tell you how many bears that we have called in on past hunts, and it is so much fun. A beautiful bear. This was one of the most intense hunts I have ever been a part of. You got him. He's draining. He's draining. Was that the coolest? You're never going to do another hunt like that again in your life, girl. As we go through the highlights of season eight, one of the hunts that topped my list, well that is black bear hunting up in Alaska. On this trip, it was a completely do-it-yourself hunt on Prince of Wales Island, and we were having an incredible time. We spotted a nice bear. Now this bear was out in a small grassy area. The tide was still pretty high, but this was our only shot, and it's the last day. There's no more messing around. We needed to get after it. We had a nice bear on the shore. It is time to make things happen. So Dick pulled up on the island. We jumped out. That bear is still just feeding to us. And the cool part is, is we had checked the wind beforehand. We had a strong wind blowing right in our face. So I thought, well, we don't have to worry about this bear smelling us. So as we set up, I decided to hit the predator call a little bit to see if I couldn't get that bear to come even closer. But unfortunately, it didn't care. All it was worried about is flipping rocks, eating crabs, and eating grass. So I shut the call off and thought, this is it. We need to make this happen. It's not even reacting. I'm not going to mess with him. I'm just going to let him try to keep coming down that shore. A lot of times, there's no reason to get in a rush. These bears, they're on the flat. They're not going anywhere. turned and started going the other way and I thought, 
Oh my gosh, I blew it. I'm not gonna get a shot on this bear. And he's facing straight away. And as soon as he started turning, I said, as soon as I have a quarter and away shot and he stops, I'm gonna take him. We've been hunting so hard out here. What a beautiful bear. Looked like he's nice, big old belly already on him. I mean, it's early in the spring. It looked like he had a beautiful coat. We gotta review the footage and check where that shot was. But hopefully he's just inside those woods. But what an awesome bear. <laughs> Jeez, looks like a nice fat one. You can see its belly hanging down. Oh my goodness. We have been up here in Alaska on Prince of Wales Island. Just a beautiful bear. We haven't seen as many as we normally see, but the coat on this is just tremendous. A beautiful bear, nice big head. You know, this is kind of what you're looking for up here. We go out, we put in our time. We were getting down to the end. We were down to the wire, but we made it happen. This beautiful bear stepped out and we just decided we need to make the rounds and cover as much territory as we can and got it done. And this is what I love. I mean. These Alaskan bears, not only do they have huge skulls, but their hide is just perfect. He hasn't been out long, not a single rub on him. Just a beautiful, nice bear. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews Archery. DSG Outerwear, doing something great. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Silent Legion Suppressors, embrace the silence. Everly Stock, go in light, come out heavy. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Winchester, the American legend. Bino Dock, what a cup holder should be. Safari Club International, first for hunters. Redneck Blinds, the best hunting blinds on the planet. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. This segment was brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Show your hunter pride by joining today at safariclub.org. So wrapping up the best of season eight, one of my favorite trips has got to be going to Powder River Outfitters year after year. Now on this trip, we were doing something new. I was hunting with the brand new 350 Legend cartridge and we were going to be rattling in those big white tails down on the Powder River. I squeezed the trigger and this buck dropped right in his tracks. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm shooting a brand new cartridge by Winchester to the 350 Legend. We just rattled in a nice Montana buck, dropped him in his tracks. Sounds like I'm shooting a 22. Yeah. There's no recoil. It is awesome. To drop a big white tail, pretty sweet. To me, being out there with a brand new 350 Legend, testing it out, that was one of the coolest things that could have ever happened. And take a big mature buck straight off his feet, the results speak for themselves. Awesome. It was amazing to get up to this buck, to see just a perfect animal, just beautiful, and all of us had put in so much time. Ben had been there the entire time, filming right over my shoulder, and we were all just truly enjoying the experience. We had beautiful weather, tons of animals, great company, just an overall amazing experience. And one of the things I love at Powder River, well, when you get to go back in the evenings, you get to have so much fun. The camaraderie, going in the shed, signing your name on the wall, all the literally 
hundreds of people over the past, who knows, 30, 40 years that have been going there. You can see all their names, their stories on the wall. Ben and I, we had a wonderful time. And truly, this is a place that I look forward to year after year. And once again, I had another beautiful whitetail in the books. Closed captioning is brought to you by Spy Point Trail Cameras. Stunning picture quality combined with leading cellular technology will keep you instantly in the loop right from your phone. Follow Melissa on Twitter at Melissa Bachman, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Winchester Deadly Passion, and Instagram at Melissa underscore Bachman for behind the scenes footage, photos, giveaways, and much more.